it's really important to to you know confront head on for example the impact that foreign nationals have on the economy um, on South Africa's um, you know on our spending etc because there there is this perception that they are have negative effects on South, Africa, South Africans economic prospects when often the research shows the reverse is true um, that many foreign nationals start businesses that also employ South Africans um, that when they are documented they're able to pay taxes and contribute to the fiscus etc and also that actually most of our social transfer schemes don't actually um, apply to to foreign nationals so so, you know, there aren't, they shouldn't actually be accessing, you know, um, things like there's a belief, you know, they're taking a housing, etc. And so to the extent where those things are happening, the fight must be taken to the appropriate place because it means that there is a corrupt official somewhere who's um, doing something they're not supposed to be doing because that's not really what the law um, mm. enables. So I think firstly, the step is to make sure the correct information is out there. But I'm also very realistic about the ability to rationalize things that are very emotive. Mm. So to some extent, of course, it is important to have the right information. But we're really going to have to address the problems which give rise to, um, you know, the anti-foreign national and, and, and at the extreme, the xenophobic um, sentiment, you know. So it means we have to tackle crime. We have to tackle, um, you know, yeah. unemployment. Mm -hmm. Because if we don't, then people start finding someone to blame and it will mm -hmm. often be the wrong person to blame. 